हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू क्रिएट अ पीडीएफ डॉक्यूमेंट इनसाइड योर पीएचपी एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग द लाइब्रेरी कॉल्ड एज एफ पीडीएफ एफ पीडीएफ इज अ वेरी फेमस लाइब्रेरी फ्रॉम व्हिच यू कैन क्रिएट कलरफुल टेबल्स इनसाइड योर पीडीएफ डॉक्यूमेंट सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू क्रिएट कलरफुल टेबल्स इनसाइड पीडीएफ डॉक्यूमेंट इन पीएचपी फ्रॉम एक्सटर्नल टेक्स्ट फाइल so all this data that you see inside this table will be there inside a text file you will see that employees data aman varanasi 3380750 so all this data is coming through uh, inside a text file here you can see that guys this is a name this is a city this is a age this is a salary so you can as 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 many rows that you want to add here inside the data i can even delete some data here and refresh it so now basically you will now see this data will be shown here only four rows are there name city age salary so four rows are there aman bina derek fanny and you can also see this you can see that here we can add some more data let's suppose john and uh, delhi and 45 salary is 56000 so i just need to refresh it now automatically that data will be retrieved so it is saying that Uh, uncaught exception f pdf error some data has already been output can't send pdf file uh let me see oh sorry this needs to be semicolon guys so instead of comma so just make sure that you put semicolon not comma now if you refresh it now you will see that john is added here john delhi 45 56000 so in this way guys you can create colorful tables with the data coming from a text file inside php using f pdf library so this is a php script which is used here i have given this php script in the description of the live stream so this is the live blog post i have written on my website codingsiksha.com so if you want to get all the source code you can go to the description of the blog post to copy paste all the source code so now let's get started by writing this uh, php script let me delete this all this file so just create a employees dot txt file guys just have your data inside this and also for this you will need f pdf library f pdf is a very famous library pdf generation library so just write here f pdf and uh, it has its own website if you want to download it go to the download section and create download the latest zip file and inside your folder just extract all of that you will get a folder like this you will now see this is a f pdf script that we will use inside our php script this is a all the library code here so inside index.php guys you also need exam control panel just start the apache server http server which is listening on port 80 so just start this apache server so the very first line we will write inside this php script guys we need to require the fpdf/fpdf.php this is the pf php script and here we we will be writing the class which will extends the fpdf functionality and here we will define two methods guys which will be first of all we will be having simple table inside uh, the browser for the simple table we will create a function which is simple table or sorry get simple table so first of all hit the like button subscribe the channel as well guys if you are watching it for the very first time we will be giving a header and the data as well which will be coming so this is the function which we have written inside this php class so which will render a simple table not a colorful table we will use a for each loop and inside we will pass header and column and here we will just say that this dot cell and here we will put 40 comma 7 you will put the column 1 and then we will run this this dot ln like this it will set the current position and for the data guys it is very simple for each loop we will use and here we will be passing data as a particular row and again we will use another for each loop here we will use a row as a column and here we will be 
uh, having this dot cell we will create a cell here inside the PDF document 40 comma 6 this is X and the Y coordinate and column will be 1 and again we will set this dot this will set the current position like this so this completes this function guys so now we are entering a simple table we need to give these two things header and the data so now we will call this function right here after this we will call this PDF new PDF we have instantiate a new object of this class PHP class so after having this we will provide the data array here this is a header data we will provide this is a column name you can list out name city and age you can give any column name according to your application it is totally up to you and salary in thousands you can just write salary and uh, that's it put a semicolon and basically now we will provide the data from the text file so basically all the data is present inside this text file you will see that employees.txt now we need to provide this data so for providing it we will use get data get data from file this is a method guys which allows you to get the data from the file and here we will mention the employees.txt the file name employees.txt as is it's there in the same directory so we will if it is there inside another directory we will need to give the full path so after this we need to define this function guys so this is a custom function that we are writing get data from file put a semicolon so here we need to define this function so we will write get data from file so basically here it will be having the path so basically the file name so now to get the data guys it is very simple we will get, declare a lines variable we will have the file here with the file constructor and then we will get the data inside a array like structure like this and then we will again use for each loop we will have the lines as line and inside this loop guys we will simply say that data we will use the explode method and then put a semicolon here oh sorry semicolon here and chop and line that's it after this guys we just need to return this return this data that's it return data that's it so this will get the data here and store it if you echo out the data here just to clarify if it is working or not if you now execute the script here localhost pdf from file so you can see it's an array here basically it's it is an array if you see we are echoing out the data here so it's an array here it is showing us so now we need to simply uh, render this inside the PDF document so what we can do is that after this we can set the font which is by using set font the font will be Arial and our size will be 14 and then basically we will add a new page in PDF document for adding a new page we will call add page this will add a new page and we forgot the semicolon that's why the error was taken place and if you just say PDF output if you save this file PDF output so now guys what will happen if you execute it one one page will be there empty page you can see inside PDF document so one page is created it is currently empty nothing is present here because we added this page here with the help of this add page method if you create another page add page this will add another empty page so now there will be two pages if you refresh it inside there will be two pages which will be currently empty this is the first page this is the second page so now we need to add the table guys which is very simple in the first page 
so we will get the data which is we will call this get simple table and here we will pass the he header and the data which we are come getting from the previous function that's it so now if you refresh it guys it will add a simple table so now you can see boom your table is ready here name city age salary you can see that this is a four rows we have defined five rows first second third fourth fifth so this is all fetching it from the employees.txt file guys so it is very awesome you can just copy paste a list of data which is there inside your records your company records your employee records you just need to add this and basically it will fetch it from this table if you can add more records you can you can see that now we need to add some color to it we will design a colorful table now now we need to add a colorful table for adding a colorful table guys it's very easy we will now add a brand new page after this we will add a new page and then we will call a simple method which will be get styled table get styled table we will define this we will pass the header and the data to it so this will be a colorful table we need to now define this function at the very top so basically this will be a colorful table so function get styled table we will get the data header and the data so inside this method guys what we need to do is that so first of all we will be having this dot set fill color this is a method which is there here you can put any color of your choice and this dot set text color so this will be for the text color you can provide any value 144 244 this is rgb format this dot set draw color so you can just put any color of your choice 100 1 0 and then we comes the line width this dot set line width and this can be 0 0.5 it's very much there and lastly we can set the font for the table set font and basically we can say that bold this needs to be bold so capital B so after this guys we will now have uh, the header of the table so header will be simply we will design a column width variable column width array so if you're joining it for the very first time guys please hit the like button subscribe the channel 45 40 45 you will have a for loop here which will run for i is equal to 0 i uh, i less than count and we will count the header how much header is there rows and then basically we will increment it by 1 i plus plus this is a for loop that we are running here and inside this for loop guys what we need to do we need to create a cell a column width that we calculated like this call width like this put a 7 this is x coordinate and then the header we need to put like this put a comma and then we also need to say 1 comma 0 comma c 1 uh, i think it has created some error header let me paste this line guys so all the source code will be given in the description of the live stream so blog post semicolon is missing I think so now it's looking good now you can see that no error is there so now we need to after this we need to run this this dot 
this will be setting the current pointer so if you now refresh it guys on the second page there will be a colorful table here the headers are ready here name city age and salary so you can change the color accordingly you can provide as many colors as you want you can change this color to 100 this this will change this color to green color green background background color so you can provide any color of your choice this is a text color so this will be black color you will now see the header will be changing to black so you can customize this table accordingly this is a colorful table so basically our headers are ready now we need to setting the background for now setting the background guys it is very easy we will now use this dot set fill color and 1.235 255 uh, if you now refresh it your background color will be set you can see it is changing to black and also this dot set text color 0 and this dot set font nothing and after that guys now we will be filling out the data inside PDF document inside this colorful table fill will be 0 after this we will again use a for each loop and the data as row inside this for loop guys we will simply need to fill out using like this this is a complicated code let me write it and uh, 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 let me write it so like this will print out all the data as a row so you can change the color accordingly whichever color that you want if you refresh it now you will now see this is all the columns which are ready here it has got a nice little blue background color white as well so all these colors you can definitely change guys accordingly after this we also need to write this line which is column width just to provide the bottom background so bottom border color if you refresh it now so the table will be now completed all the borders are there this is a colorful table this is a simple table so we have shown in this video guys how to create a table inside PDF document from a text file all the records are available inside the text file here so inside FPDF library inside PHP hopefully you will like this video please hit the like button if you like it please hit the subscribe button and if you have any sort of questions you can ask in the comment section I will definitely re respond to those questions and if you don't have any sort of questions, I will be seeing you in the next live stream.